Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial for FreeCAD I will show you how to work with global and relative coordinates in Draft and BIM workbenches. Both global and relative coordinates can be applied to Cartesian coordinates and also polar coordinates. I will be using simple draft line tool to show you how these coordinates work, but many other draft and BIM tool use the same concepts. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 in this tutorial. So each FreeCAD file has its global coordinate system with the origin. You can see the axis of the coordinate system here. And the origin in my case is here. And if I turn on the line tool, you can see when I move my cursor here, you can see the coordinates. So if I move my cursor close to here, it turns to, it turns to zero. So if I move my mouse here, I'm in the first quadrant. So both local X and local Y are uh, positive here. In the second quadrant, the local X turns negative. Here, the X and Y, both of them are negative. And here, the uh, X is positive and Y is negative. So I've got my snapping turned on so I can snap on this beginning. So I selected the point there and I can select second point by clicking in any quadrant. So I will turn off snapping now and now I will start a new line tool and if I'm selecting the first point I'm always selecting in global coordinates so it's relative to this point the, the origin of the global coordinate system so if I click here I'm selecting the I selected the first point and now the second point Again, I have not relative turned on and not global, and I'm selecting the second point in the coordinates of the global coordinate system. So we can see if I move it to second quadrant, the local X is minus. If I move it to third quadrant, the local Y and local X are both with minus. So now I'm purely selecting the coordinates in uh, global, uh, the global coordinates. Now, I can, if I want to, turn on relative on and relative means that I will be selecting the coordinates. You can see it's local and delta x and that means that I will be selecting the coordinates relative to the last selected point. But when I'm drawing a line, the first point I'm creating is uh, I'm selecting in global coordinates. So it doesn't matter if I have now the relative turned on or not. So I can click, let's say here, but now I'm selecting the coordinates relative to this last selected point. So you can see if I move my mouse here, I'm in the first quadrant relative to this point. But if I move my mouse here, I'm already in the second quadrant, the local X is minus even though in the global coordinate system it should be it should be both positive so the dimensions are relative to this last used point so i will click here now you might be confused i think this is quite clear but you might be confused why does this option now to choose global when i have global and relative turned on at one point and at the state I'm working in, there will be no difference than what uh, my last setting was. So now I will be selecting the first point in the global coordinate system and the second one will be, will be relative, to the, relative to the first one because the relative is checked. You can see when I move my mouse here, the quadrants, the numbers. So when does this global make a difference? It makes difference. Uh, I will now, uh, it makes difference when you have different working plane than the global working plane activated. So I created 
this alternative working plane and now I will activate it by double clicking and you can see that the origin uh, of the global coordinate system is here but here is the origin of the alternative working plane it's this one that I now activated and it's uh, the alternative working plane is also rotated 45 degrees so now if I select to um, uh, create a new line and I have global set turned on I'm still selecting the point relative to the global coordinate system but if I check off global now I'm using the currently active work uh, currently active uh, coordinate so you can see now that I'm in the in the first quadrant here now I move to second quadrant and the lo lo local x is with minus now I'm in third quadrant both x and y are minus and here I'm in the fourth quadrant and if I would turn global on it doesn't matter where I move around here I'm still selecting the coordinates in the global global uh, coordinate system so I can now click here now the relative works still the same as previously but it's relative uh, and taking into account the current uh, selected working plane so you can see that it's rotated now I'm in first quadrant now I'm in second quadrant relative now I'm in third quadrant relative to the first one and now I'm in fourth quadrant relative to the first selected points so this is how you work with relative and global coordinate systems and uh, why it's possible to have them both turned on if you have uh, the global turned off and relative turned off you would be inserting coordinates uh, both the first and the second one of the line relative to the uh, relative to the origin of the alternative working plane and of course if you created these lines uh, with uh, alternative working plane uh, selected even even if you switch to the global coordinate system they stay in the same position of course relative to the global coordinate system origin so this is all about global and relative coordinates i hope this was helpful and i will see you in the next one